Hello friends, we are out once again in London, we have a mark with us today. So we're on our way to a very, hopefully interesting museum that I've always wanted to go to um, and we thought, you know what, we finally, we finally go to it today. So we're just, uh, just attempting to find it. So, the museum that we are visiting today is quite spooky, uh, quite torturous, literally. So, we are here at the Clink Prison Museum. Will, we, will it see it the right way around? Because I'm filming like this. Anyway, we're here. So, this notorious prison dates back to, and I've got to check my notes because I can't remember, 1144. Um, and it is one of Britain's oldest and most notorious prisons. The museum is built on the actual site of the old prison um, and it's very interactive. You kind of get the smells, the sights, the sounds of prison life. Um, hopefully, we'll soon find out. It was a prison for over 600 years um, until there was some sort of riot or fire, I think, in 1780 and um, the prison was kind of destroyed and it wasn't rebuilt after that. So the prison was located in an area of London that was kind of associated more with the unsavory types of um, people, like drunks, harlots, ladies of the night, uh, petty criminals, thieves, things, uh, things like that. So they are the sort of criminals that you would kind of mostly see in this prison. Although I think, I think they did say they've got, um, they did have some high profile prisoners here. So the prison is open all year round. Uh, the only day that it is shut is Christmas Day. Uh, I think they're open from about, oh hang on, it says it there, 10 till 7.30. Oh, and then 10 till 6 during the winter. It says it all there. Obviously this is you know the information is correct at the time of filming so if you're watching this like a couple of years down the line I would just double check just to make sure the opening times and the information is still current. There's the admission prices. Look at this poor little skelly stuck in the gibbet. It's Mark in the background. Let's go in! Shackles. Shackles. Manacles. Yeah, around their wrists and their ankles, and then the sound as it would lock. Clink. So that's one theory as to where the name of the prison came from. Um, but it, regardless of where it came from, it obviously it lent its name to uh, to other prisons. It's where we, we get the phrase, the clink, as like slang for prison. That's where it comes from, this place, which is pretty cool. I never knew that uh, that's where the, uh, the term, the clink, going to the clink, uh, it comes from this prison. That's really cool. Two 
much to say for themselves. So learn the quiet and shackle to our arms that I had a good master and mistress to this. abide with them Prisoners and do such service as I could. Pay Fast for about, well, asked me to come to buy their own supplies, so you know, they wanted king. a bed, they wanted food, so upon water, trust, water, and by they means pay of for it, and obviously I went with to the, the poorest side, would have suffered because the boat, they had no money, they couldn't afford just the most basic of living. That's oh, awful. I that an action of trespass in the court of the Bishop of Winchester in Southwark, intending to have me find such a great sum that I could not pay and would be forced to do his desire. Apparently this is the only original remains, I think, of the original Clink prison wall. Very cool. Ooh, there's a heretic's fort here. You can read that it was useful, but look at it. Oh man, they're so interesting. Horrible. But, ooh, look at it. Not awful though. Have they used on you? Let me out! How does it feel? Um, I mean, comfortable for now, but obviously if you were in this for ages, and I'm assuming they chair torture. Ah, the purpose of this chair is simply to restrain the victim still, so that he or she cannot in any way prevent painful treatments, such as scratching, cutting, or burning. Oh, the most fearsome being covered with up to 500 sharp spikes. Oh, it's awful, and obviously you can't move, and you're being stabbed and, ooh, tortured. Horrible. Oh my god, look at these scolds bridal. They, yeah, we were just saying, they remind us so much of um, Lords of Salem. Oh, I love them. I know they're horrible, but they're just so, uh, just something about them. Love them. I don't want one used on me, obviously. <laughs> Yeah, Lords of Salem. Lords of Salem. <laughs> and then we've got a morning star. Look at it. It's really heavy. I mean, obviously it's like metal, but like, whoa. I imagine that being whacked at you, Lord. Now, what about this form of torture? Uh, compress the victim, causing great pain as well as bleeding from the nose and ears. And I think, is it this thing here? Whoa. And there's all sorts of other implements of torture here as well. Oh, how awful is this though? I mean, I know I say like, I find torture the history of torture fascinating and very very interesting but I I obviously want you guys to realize that I know it's horrible it is disgusting and it's you know no matter if someone is guilty the fact that we do this to other humans is not right oh just have to make that clear <laughs> now we've got the stocks which admittedly yes it was less horrendous than the other ones whoops but it's still not nice to be trapped in there for however long having mouldy food and rocks and all sorts thrown at you. Strapped to it while they give you however many lashes your punishment is. Wow, apparently, yes, authentic Victorian whipping frame. Whoa. And I like this, this is really nice. This is a list of uh, all the names, well, some of the names, because as it says, many others whose names have been lost in time. Some of the prisoners that I'm assuming perished here. I don't know actually, but they were prisoners 
here in the clink. Gosh, long list of names. So this horrible and unfortunate fella is uh, trapped in a gibbet. Ooh, he looks horrible but really cool. And look at some sort of crow or a sort of bird with an eyeball. Well, Mark is very, very, very uh, into this exhibit. It's wedding. It's the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Wow. Yeah, we would very, very happily take these home with us and use them in our movies. <laughs> what about this horrible form of death? Apparently, uh, pirates or like those convicted of piracy, they were hanged um, and deliberately like suffocated slowly, and then. Uh, the corpses were left hanging for three tides before being tarred and gibbeted. Ooh. Brave Steph, okay, be brave. We're going to go behind Jay and look. It's a little photo area. How cool is that? I'm definitely coming in here and filming some. Okay, see you on the other side. I'm innocent. You're a criminal. I'm innocent. Why are you behind bars? Anything wrong. You're behind bars. You must be a criminal. No. Let me out. Alright then. <laughs> that was fun. No, it's not. It's not like the usual kind of like collars we would wear. Ooh. Yeah, I'm already feeling feeling it. But I really love the look of it. And again, I know it sounds terrible because they're torture. Torture implements. Okay, Mark's having a go now. Ooh, lovely. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, very nice accessory. Love it. Roll, roll, punk. Yeah. No, it is. It's kind of like that. I can see you wearing it. I can wear that out. Yeah? yeah Suits you. Nice. Yeah, it's a little yeah. heavy on the collar. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's nice. I like it. 
cool. And and what other what other torch devices have we got here, Mark? We have. There's another neck thing. Is this another neck thing? Yeah, there's another collar. Oh, something else. Spiked on the inside, though. I it think. It is. Yes. So. For, for fun and games. This is the bone chip, and it, yes, it, it actually is heavy. I'm not sure what Very that weighs, weighty. but it's probably about 10, 15 kilos, something like that. Ooh. So you know it's there. Yeah. And if I drop that, that would hurt. Ooh. Maybe we won't drop it there. <laughs> um, but there we are. And then is this is this a, is this a chastity belt? I believe this is a a chastity belt that way around. Ooh. With love heart. Oh, with love. Sweet. With love. Not so much with the love. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, you know, you've got to be able to go. Well, and then there's another yeah. one here as well. Nice. And then there's a big old heavy boot. And I didn't realise this, but it says it here. They would, um, once the fo foot is in the boot, the gap is packed with wood and then soaked with water, making the wood swell. And it would cause agony and almost certain to permanently cripple the victim. Feel that? Oh, and it's very, very weighty and heavy. One thing that I really love about this museum, especially when it's quiet and there's not many people around, you can hear lots of like ambient background noises. So there's like dripping, wa dripping water to so get the impression of it being like dank and damp. And then there's obviously someone in pain, which there would be. Screams of agony and just kind of like clanking and clanging. And it really, it is very kind of immersive and atmospheric. It's great, I love it. Yeah, it's quite a small museum, but there's, they've crammed a lot in here and it's just fascinating. There's so much stuff in here that I love. So interesting. Now, this prison museum is said to be very, very haunted, as you would expect, considering the history, the torment, the torture, the deaths that have happened here. So they do hold various uh, kind of ghost hunting events here. Um, I think you can find them online. Um, and you can stay overnight and like hunt for ghosts, which sounds a lot of fun. Right, we're heading back to the tube station now. So, final thoughts, Mark. What did you think of that amazing little museum? I thought it was rather so fantastic. It was, it was good, sort of wasn't it? Gory and weird and nasty. Yeah, I love learning all good. about the history of um, the kind of torture that they went through. And uh, I know it sounds weird, like I said earlier, that you know we're interested in torture and torture devices but they're really interesting you know it's um fascinating and horrible to see what humans are capable of doing to each no, other no, it was horrible and we should understand the terribleness of it no it was great it was, awesome. <laughs> it was amazing <laughs> but yeah it was packed full of information uh yeah very very interactive i love that you could touch loads of things um and it was just great to learn about the history of of the museum um, history of the prison, I, sh I should say. So yes, very, very much recommended um, if you are in London. It's what, eight pounds for an adult, six for kids and seniors and students. Currently so in 2023. Yes. So absolutely worth it. So highly, highly recommend that museum. Very spooky, very gory, very brilliant. Loved it. So anyway, thank you for joining us on this video today. It's very warm. Oh, it's too warm for me, to be honest. I'm not, I'm not good in heat. So we uh, will say goodbye. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed coming along with us and uh, we'll see you guys soon. Bye.